for three days, this was our hope. Stuck in the ice, on board, Tangaroa, no way off and nowhere to go. Let's just say we almost missed Christmas 2022. But thank gosh we were able to use the dinghy to get to shore. Here's what it's like to be stuck in the ice on board our floating home. So I figure one of the best ways to really set off the morning is to go for a swim out there. Ooh, careful down the steps. I'm not just going to jump off the boat though because I don't want to have a big jammer. And of course my sister's like, don't do that because you're getting old. I'm like, thanks. Yeah, we're not going to do that. So I'm going to go to the beach, which is just over there. I'm going to walk in and kind of get myself used to it. I've done this once before, but I had people motivating me. I wasn't like by myself. This is, this is by myself. I do have my wet booties on and I have a towel. I did not shave my legs, but really who am I impressing? Okay, let's do this. Is really cold. I actually broke ice to go in there. That's crazy. But I, uh, I'm really glad I did it. My legs are so tingly. My fingers, that's the problem. My fingers get so cold. Oh, look at that ice trail I made. <laughs> that's crazy. But you know what now? I need a hot shower. I'm going back to the boat for a hot shower. Oh, 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 oh. And with that, it's shower time. So you are about to be turned off. That was good. It's very refreshing. It sure wakes you up. And now I've got my cup of tea. We heat Tangro with diesel. And let's just say with all this very, very cold weather, we are running very low. With Blaine at work, it was my job to make sure I kept transferring diesel over to the day tank to make sure that the heaters didn't run out. It was a bit scary. I'm sitting here in the main slot and it's getting colder and colder and colder. And I'm like, what the heck? The fire was, um, we were running out of diesel, seriously. And the fire was getting lower and lower and lower. And I was getting colder, 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 especially my tatas. Um, so I just went and transferred some fuel and I think we're good now. Fire's back up, look. Cause look at the snow outside. It's so cold. We're actually really gonna have to go get diesel. Like we are running solo. Um, so I think between Christmas and New Year's, we're gonna head down to Anacortes and get some fuel cause it is so cheap down there compared to up here. It's like literally one third the price. Oh, it's blowing. There is so much snow around us in the water. Look at that. That is wild. You just watch the snow passes on ice flows. First things first is I really have to find our snow shovel. And yes, we do have a snow shovel on the boat. Okay, let's see if I can find it. Oh my, it's down there. <coughs> Overnight, snow had dumped upon Victoria. Like we were absolutely covered. But lucky for us, we live on a boat and it was just slushed on top of the surface so we could get out. But guess what? We didn't. Maggie.
is frozen. We can't even. Do you want to use a bucket? It's frozen. Lane is running it under hot water. It is absolutely stunning out. It is the perfect day to just, yeah, enjoy it. This is what I call live your life adventure challenge because you know what? I could stay in my pajamas with my fourth cup of tea watching television inside the main salon all cuddled up um, with my diesel heater or we could go out and do this. <laughs> it's like so much fun. It's just exhilarating. It gives me energy. It just makes me friggin' happy. Let's just say that. I'm so happy I'm spinning. I'm sorry, people. Oh, it's just, yeah, happy. Maggie, what do you think? We got snow blowing everywhere, but the tenders look good. They're happy. And after probably one of the most beautiful, like seriously stunning boat rides we've ever been on, we decided to take Kangaroo up back into Todd Inlet for the night. That was a mistake. That was cool. It's all slush. We're spinning and look how much ice we are pushing. So it's going really slow as we spin to anchor. <laughs> ah! And V are here, right back to our regular spot. That was a fun little cruise. Check out all the all the ice we pushed. <laughs> Get in the anchor set. The first thing we had to do is get Maggie to shore. She desperately needed to go for a number two. I know. Let's just say Derba or Dingy did not want to start. But you know what? Maybe I should have shoved her out first before trying to take Maggie to shore inside of her. Crawl. <laughs> hey, Maggie. She's trying to get into the Roy Club parking lot. Can you do it? I can do it. You can do it. Double toque. Lots of jackets. Still pretty icy out there. Yep. Be safe. You have no life jacket on. On. I 
I have been trying to get my dinghy to shore. Problem is everything's frozen, even the throttle. So I just took hot water and I poured it over top of the dinghy. So let's see if this works. I can't get to my car because my car is frozen in. Ah, oh, shite, to the parking lot. So I'm going to go to the dock there and walk in and then Josh is gonna pick me up. But we'll see what happens, we'll see what happens. This is crunching through ice. Maggie, I'm not quite there yet. You, you kicked me off. Okay. Can you believe just like two days ago I was swimming right there? <laughs> not anymore. It is so pretty. It's been like two days since I've been off the boat. So it's nice to actually stretch the legs. Even though I'm on the boat, I don't feel like I'm doing anything anyway. So, but yeah, it's a nice little trail. I'm already out of breath though. But Maggie's having a blast because she hasn't been off the boat in two days either. Come here. Woohoo. I'm going this way. Come on. No, this way. Okay, Megs, let's go find some stocking stuffers. That's called a oops. Good morning. It is so cold on this boat, and I don't understand this, but our light switches, they don't turn on when it's cold. Just this one. Sometimes if you push here, other than that, it doesn't turn on. I'm just trying to get the stove started. And I think I've got it. We are frozen in. It's not often we are like actually frozen in that we can't leave the boat. Like we can't get the dinghy off the boat. We are seriously frozen in ice and stuck, which is okay because it's two, three days before Christmas. So we have to get out for Christmas Eve, but really we got nowhere to go right now. But let me show you what's been happening out here. <laughs> like we are freaking frozen. Ay, 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 ay. We did create a little bit of a hole around us last night, but it froze over again. <laughs> and we can't leave, so we could probably crush our way out of the ice, but it would destroy our bottom paint, which would cost about $2,000 to pull the boat out of the water, paint all the, actually, yeah, about 2,000 bucks, to pull the boat out of the water, repaint all the bottom paint. It's just not worth it. So we're just gonna sit right here and um, drink tea. <laughs> oh, you're up top. I see you're on the roof. You're up there. What happens when you put a drone down in front of seagulls? <laughs> They're so evil. I'm gonna go paddle boarding in the ice and snow. Let's try it! Oh, I went through the ice. Okay. Are we ready? Sure. <laughs> if you don't pop your paddle board. Oh, you think I will? Very gingerly. Okay, I'm on. All right, good job. Uh. <laughs> uh. 
<laughs> and then I assume that you probably used up all of your energy just getting three feet. I wonder if I can get into there. I'm in the water! Yeah, you might be able to move a little easier now. dilemma Blaine well we are currently frozen in the Todd Inlet I mean we could get out it's not a problem with that the engines could push us out of here but last time we did that we took off all the bottom paint around the water line which is already showing some paint damage just from drifting around in the ice here and uh, to make matters worse we're running out of diesel <laughs> <laughs> it's not good. How much do we have left? Uh, about 50 gallons. We and need... our heater burns through a pretty good bit. Plus, we're running generator a lot these, these days because there's no sun. Hmm. So we're trying to figure out what to do. It's a bit of a dilemma. We'll figure it out, though. It almost works out. I'm not overly concerned. One way or another. We'll get to a fuel dock. It's just a dilemma. Yep. Might just have to buzz over to the house and spend a couple of nights at the house. <laughs> Good morning from Todd Inlet, where we are still stuck. Frozen in, tomorrow's Christmas. <sighs> Getting a little bit, um, a little bit nervous, especially when we're running out of diesel and we don't want to bush, we don't want to ice crash our way out of here because then it just totally chews up the bottom paint. Like it will take our three layers of bottom paint that I just put on off the bow and we'll be down to marker coat or epoxy barrier coat which is never good and it gets expensive doing that hauling this boat to the water all the time putting on new bottom paint but let me show you this is blaine getting ready for work he has a double toque on he's got gonna put the ski goggles on <laughs> uh... Our whole plan was to stay on board Tangaroa for Christmas. Unfortunately, with the ice this thick, we had to make a very difficult decision. We had to move to shore. That's a start. If we didn't move to shore, we would miss Christmas with the family, especially with Josh. So, the plan was for Blaine to try and break some ice, and if he was able to, he'd come back and get Izzy and I, and we would move into my parents' place for Christmas. He's not there yet. He's still trying. He's going. The biggest thing is getting him in because if he can get in, then he can come back and pick up Izzy and I. Especially once he's broken a trail. Okay, he's around the corner. He's moving faster. This is good because at least we can get off the boat for Christmas. 
because now that we have a trail broken, he can at least make it in and pick us up. Being that we're frozen in and we don't want to miss Chris as the family, we've decided to move off the boat. So this is all of our stuff to move off the boat. And most of it is Christmas presents. Bye bye little Christmas tree. Disney's out playing with icicles. Blaine made a path again, so we have a path to get out of here. And it's time to move to shore. Okay, back in. We've got to make sure everything's turned off before we leave this boat. We don't want it to pull anything. If not, it's going to kill the batteries while we're gone. on shore we are finally heading back we are watching the lorex video cameras which we have on our boat for video surveillance and it looks like we can get back to our boat it looks like it's unfrozen right Blaine? and it is so mild look all the snow is basically gone <coughs> it's warm for a while <coughs> crazy hey eh? yeah so let's see if we can do this <laughs> excited to get back to the boat yeah yeah me too i don't like being off the boat would be frozen. Thawed. Raining. It's raining. It's cold. This is usually what winter's like in Victoria, but whoo, it's still chilly, chilly. I thought we could have get out of here, but we're taking the paint off. We're moving this massive thing of ice, but that's okay. We can put bottom paint back on. I think we're going to be coming out of the water pretty soon anyways, so. The problem is we have no choice. We're down to needing diesel, so we've got to get out. Oh well. Cool, as we're pushing it, look, this whole thing of ice is moving right here.
Nate, are you having problems getting your pipe in the hole? Yeah. Can't go far enough in. Can't go far enough in with the pipe? Again? Blaine's hands got sore. <laughs> so I'm doing it now. Delicate hands. <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs>